Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I am Rebecca, otherwise known as the Zesty Lime, and today I am doing a vegan cheese taste test. A kind of co. Ooh. Kind of co. A kind of co vegan cheese taste test. Ay. Stop it. Also, um, this is the first video I'm filming in my new house. Well, it's not my house. I just mean this is where I live now. So, welcome. <laughs> Ellie is somebody that I have been friends with on Instagram for a couple years now. I started following her vegan food blog account, uh, Kind State of Mind, and I've met her a couple times at different events, um, like VegFest, where she was selling her cheese. And more recently, she has started her own vegan cheese brand called Kindaco. So she makes mostly cashew-based cheeses, I believe. A lot of these ones are new flavors that I haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited. And she kindly sent me these to try, and I thought that I would do a taste test so I could tell you my thoughts on all these different flavors. So let me run through what we've got. Okay, so starting here, we've got a Greek style cheese, and you can see here that it really does look kind of like feta, and it's in oil with lots of herbs. I have tried this one before, and what's really great is that after you're finished all the cheese, you can just keep the oil and use it to cook with, and it's already like super flavorful. Okay, so then there are a bunch of hard cheeses. There is this cranberry cheese, which I have not tried yet, but I will say I love fruit and cheese. Like I've always loved Wens Wensleydale, Wesleydale, Wensleydale cheddar with cranberries. Anyway, I think cheese and fruit is a great combo, so I'm very, very excited to try this one. There is also a smoked paprika, garlic, and herb. And finally, there are two different soft cheeses, like cream cheeses, I guess. So this one is a faux lox and dill. So this one should taste kind of like salmon, smoked salmon, I'm guessing. Um, I've heard really good things about this one. This one seems to be really popular. And last but not least is, this is another one I've tried. This is the farmhouse, farmhouse cheddar, farmhouse? It just says farmhouse, but I think it's supposed to be like a cheddar. So the farmhouse and the Greek are the only two that I've tried so far. So everything else is gonna be all new for me trying today. And I'm very excited, so let's dig in. Let's see, I've got, I've got a, a whole assortment of accoutrements here beside me, including a knife. You gotta cut the cheese somehow, right? No, that was not a fart joke. Um, and then some, some other things. Why am I showing you these? I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the Greek style first because that's the one I've tried before. So let's rearrange these a little bit so I can make like a tasting area right here in front. <laughs> All good. I want to make this look aesthetic. Okay, so we're gonna go for Greek style. Ugh. Oh, okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna be super extra right now. So instead of using a spoon or fork to try this cheese, I'm gonna use some chopsticks. I'll try not to get oil everywhere though, that's the only problem. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna try and hold this up to the camera so you can get a closer view. I mean, does that not look exactly like feta? Like, for sure, if you want something that's gonna look the same as feta for a recipe or a photo or something, this is perfect. So let's try this. Um, I, like I said, I've had this one before, but I haven't tried it in a really long time, so I don't, I don't really remember what it tastes like. Oh my god. Oh, that's good. It's really salty. Not, like, too much, but a good amount, you want that saltiness, I think, to a, like a feta. And then you get the flavor of all the herbs. So there's garlic, there's lemon zest, pink and black peppercorns, and then Herbe de Provence, which is like a French herb blend. Hold on, let me see. So Herbe de Provence uh, is a mixture of dried herbs considered typical of the Provence region of Southeast France. These blends often contain savory, marjoram, rosemary, thyme, and oregano. So there's that herb blend. Um, and this cheese also, this cheese is almond-based. I think I said that most of her cheeses are cashew based, but this one is um, almonds. Oh, so good though. I'm gonna have another one. Mm hmm. Mm, 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 mm. It's really soft, kind of melts in your mouth. Mm. I think feta is usually a bit harder than this, but I like this texture. It's delicious. It's delicious. Obviously, it's not exactly the same as feta, but it's a delicious alternative. I could probably eat the whole jar of that. Delicious. I vote delicious on Greek style. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the other one that I've had before, which is this bum house cheese. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a cheddar or, ooh. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it smells like cheese. Look at that swirl. It looks very smooth and creamy. Okay, it's firmer. Oh, it's firmer than I was expecting. Still very smooth and looks, ooh, look at that. Wait, can you see that texture? Mmm. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this taste test is not helpful if all I'm doing is making noises. It's delicious. Again, I mean, to be honest, I doubt that I'm not going to like any of these cheeses. I forgot that this one was firmer. I thought that this was gonna be more like cream cheese, but I like it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's good, that's good. I don't really know if this is supposed to be comparable to some kind of regular cheese, but it's delicious. Like again, you could just eat it with a spoon or melt it on something or spread it on toast. Oh, that would be good spread on toast. Yeah, I guess it is similar to the texture of cream cheese. Like it's not completely firm. It's very, it's very smooth and spreadable. It's delicious, it's delicious. Just another delicious cheese. This is why I couldn't be a food critic because I get too caught up in just enjoying my food and all I can do is make enthusiastic eating noises and say it's delicious and I love it. I could probably say more about the flavors and the textures and things like that if I wasn't doing this in the moment, <laughs> but <laughs> I just get caught up in how good they taste and I forget things like vocabulary and descriptive words and all I can say is it's so good. Right, so this is the faux, the faux lox and dill. So like I said, this one I think is supposed to be, well lox is smoked salmon, right? I think this is supposed to be sort of like smoked salmon and dill, you know, like it's bagels with smoked salmon and cream cheese or something. So, oh, 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 look at that. So there's some color in there that sort of looks like the smoked salmon. I wonder what that's from, probably carrot. I'm sure it is, maybe? I don't know. I've seen a lot of vegan recipes for smoked salmon and I'm pretty sure that all of them use carrot. You slice it really, really finely and then you like, sort of, I don't know, marinate it or soak it in something and I guess it softens it up too. Maybe it's sort of like a pickling process. I don't really know. Why do I talk about things that I have no knowledge of as if I do? <laughs> I don't know. That is something I can do is try this cheese and tell you what I think of it. It's got like a little bit of um, like a tanginess. Time to try. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is interesting. That's not what I was expecting. Mmm, you can taste the dill. And there is a tanginess to it. Mmm, that's good. Is it supposed to taste like smoked salmon? I don't really taste the smoked salmon part, but I really like the dill. And this would be delicious on a bagel. Mmm, yeah, that's good. It's really good. They're all so good. Damn it, Ellie. This is going well. What should I try next? Smoked paprika, garlic and herb, or cranberry. I'm gonna go cranberry because all of the other cheeses I've tried so far have been really savory. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for the one that has some fruit in it to add a little bit of sweetness to my taste buds. Oh, cheese, 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 cheese. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. Oh. What a beauty. Oh, hello. Yeah, look at those cranberries. Yeah, that is stunning. So let's just slice a little chunk. Oh, hello, cheese. <laughs> Let me just try and hold it. So this is the cranberry, and this in particular is an aged cranberry. Mm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Come on. That is so good. Mmm. 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 I know some people really don't like fruit and cheese, but that is so delicious. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still got that. It's very creamy. It's not super salty, but it is very creamy. And then it has that hit of fruit. It has that 
cranberry sweetness, which isn't overly sweet. Mmm. Yeah, that's delicious. I'm gonna have a little bit more. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's, see, it's getting a little bit soft, but that's because it's been sitting out. <laughs> I should have just kept them in the fridge right until I was ready to film. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about it. It's creamy, it's got that great balance of sweet and salty. That is delicious. All of these cheeses, I would be happy to eat on their own. Just literally sitting there eating cheese. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Cranberry, good idea. Bless you, Ellie, for making a vegan cranberry cheese. One of the grocery store brands, either Tesco or Sainsbury's, they do a cranberry cheese. Um, it's not good. The Tesco, Sainsbury's, coconut oil-based store brand cheeses are kind of shit, including the cranberry one. And I got really excited to try it when I first found out that they had one, and it didn't live up to my expectations, unfortunately. But this one, yeah, this one, this one does. Expectations met and very happily satisfied. I still have two more to try. We've got the garlic and herb and the smoked paprika. Yes! I'm gonna go garlic and herb. My setup is a little bit crowded now. I just wanted it to look aesthetic, but it's a little bit crowded. Okay. Do we, oh, oh, beauty. Oh, hello. I didn't realize that the herbiness was going to, oh. Oh, wait, I gotta show you while I'm smelling it. Look at that beauty. Oh, God. At that beauty. It's got a ton of herbs. It really does. I didn't, I didn't realize that it was gonna be like herbs all over. All over the cheese. But it looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a bit of a big chunk. So here you go. The garlic and herb. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> That smells insane. Okay, you know that, <laughs> you know that, <laughs> you know the Subway Italian herb bread that just has that like warm bakery herb delicious smell? It reminds me of that. Oh, that smells divine. Yeah, that smells so, <laughs> I could just, I could just smell it. That is just, maybe the best smelling cheese that I've smelled yet. Enough smelling, let's, let's try it. Ooh, okay, mm, okay. It's quite salty. The first flavor that I get is thyme. Yeah, I love dried thyme. Mmm, and I've never had a cheese that had that kind of flavor. Mm-hmm, it's really salty. It's saltier than the other ones, but the herb flavors Kind of balance it out, you know? Another delicious, delicious cheese. Look at all of those herbs. I feel like I need to reiterate, because I already said it, I know. <laughs> I'm not being paid to do this. This isn't like a kind of co cheese advertisement. Ellie just really wanted to send me some cheese to try and knows how much I liked her other cheeses that I tried. But she didn't ask me to do a review. She didn't ask me to make a video or anything. I just thought, since I have all of this cheese, it's a good way, especially if you are in London or, oh, 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 maybe this is a good time to mention. Kinda Co is starting an online shop and you will be able to buy all of these or whichever cheeses they have made at the moment. Um, you'll be able to buy them online and have them delivered right to your door. So I don't know how far they'll be shipping across the UK, but yeah, if you are in London or within the shipping range or whatever. I just thought this would be a good way to eat some delicious cheese and give you my opinions and my thoughts on what they taste like and which ones are my favorite. I don't know. Okay, time for the last cheese. This is the smoked paprika. <sighs> Anybody get annoyed by my sing talking? I don't, I don't do it on purpose. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my. <gasps> Wowza. I didn't expect these hard ones to be so pretty. These like, um, these kind of like hard cheeses, I haven't seen any of these like specialty flavored ones and they are just blowing my mind. Look at how stunning that is. Look at that color. I mean, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's take this off the paper. Okay, time to try the last cheese. <laughs> the last cheese. <laughs> Oh. 
Ooh. Does anyone else get weird when they slice cheese? Yoink. Ooh. Oh, look. The color is beautiful. Okay, wait. Those are crumbs from the other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got that smoked paprika smell. And the color is beautiful. Mmm. Oh, very smoky. Very paprika y. Mm hmm. It's not as firm as you would think, but it has some substance to it, you know? It's delicious. I'm trying to think overall what my favorites are. Okay, so let's do a ranking. I think my favorite would have to be the cranberry. I really, I love the combination of sweet and salty and the fruit in there, and it's just the balance is perfect for me. I think the Greek style is my next favorite, and then the farmhouse, followed by the garlic and herb, and and then I guess, I don't wanna say that the smoked paprika and the um, lox and dill are my least favorite because I still like them. I think I just prefer the other ones better, but honestly, they're all delicious, and um, Kinda Co is just great at making cheese. Oh. I made toast. I made toast so I could spread some of the stuff on them. The thing is, the color on this uh, lox and dill is really nice. It look, it does look really beautiful. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. It's so good. Mm. I feel like with these cheeses, it's stupid to say that I have a least favorite because <laughs> when I did this little ranking, I put the dill and lox at the bottom in terms of which ones I like best. <laughs> but this is really, <laughs> it's really good. I'm loving this. I think I changed my mind about all of them. My, my most favorite. Honestly, I think they're all delicious and they're all definitely worth trying unless you really hate paprika or smoked flavor or dill or cranberries or something, you know what I mean? But otherwise, they're all fantastic. These are so good. The other thing I will say is that because these two, the, the paprika and the garlic and herb, I do find them quite salty. They would be, they would pair really well with an unsalted cracker or, well, I'm gonna try them right now with um, some toast because I think that spreading them on something that has like a really mild flavor that's not salty will help balance it out more. Just in case you're interested, this is the bread that I'm eating. It is Char. In terms of gluten-free and vegan, they're amazing. Not all of their bread is vegan. Some of it has honey in it, but there are a few that um, that are vegan and gluten-free and honestly like texture wise for gluten-free bread It's amazing and it, and taste obviously it tastes delicious. So there's a little PSA about char go out and get some char Yeah, so I'm just gonna try some of the paprika and then some of the garlic and herb on Bread to see if it helps like cut the saltiness it spreads pretty well too like once it's softened a bit the thing is I can't eat it all now. I mean, obviously I shouldn't. That would be an excessive amount of cheese. I have to save some so that I can make some beautiful dishes and take some pictures with all of this cheese. Mmm, mm-hmm. Yep, that's the trick. It works really well to balance out that really nice saltiness of the cheese. Mmm, <laughs> oh yeah, that's delicious. I'm gonna try farmhouse on bread and then I'm gonna try some of the cranberry. Mmm. Bloody hell. I love this farmhouse. It just, it has a tanginess to it. Yeah. <laughs> All this cheese is so good that it's like, it's making me incensed about how good it is and that I haven't been eating it all this time. I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to like growl and <laughs> being a little liberal with the cranberry cheese. This has turned into a bit of a cheese mukbang. Well, taste, I mean, it's a taste test. It's like now, but now I'm just eating it, you know. Mmm. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Kinda Co, Ellie, thank you for blessing my life with your cheese. Honestly, if you live in London and you haven't tried Kinda Co yet, what are you doing with your life? It's good, it's so good. It's all really delicious. I highly recommend. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I just packed up all the cheese and put it all away and then realized that I didn't actually end this video. So well done me. It's because there's a little bonus bit that I wanna include, but um, I haven't decided yet. And if I don't include it, then I should wrap up the video before that bit, so. Bonus time. I found this cheese. The brand is called Happy Cheese. I've heard about them before, but I've never tried them. This one is Happy White, plant-based alternative to Camembert. It's 
supposed to be that color. <laughs> so this side looks really good. This side, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Is it supposed to? <laughs> I don't know. It looks definitely looks just like regular cheese. Wow. I mean, tell me that does not look like regular camembert. It smells kind of like it too. So let's give it a try. Uh, no, 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 I don't like it. This looks right, it looks the part. I don't love that taste though. No, I did not enjoy that. If you, if you wanna try a really good vegan camembert, go for new roots. If you can get new roots, this is not good. I don't like that. That was, um, that was a waste of five pounds. So much for this bonus bit. It's just me angry that I saved this until the end and that this is like the cheese taste that I'm left with. Hold on. I'm bringing back the cranberry because um, I don't want that to be the last flavor that's left lingering in my mouth when I have these delicious cheeses instead. Mmm. <gasps> it's so much better. My mouth is happy with me now. You know what? I'm kind of glad I did that because that just proves it doesn't matter how big a company is or if they're sold in more shops or bigger shops or something like this is shit and this is delicious and that's why we've got to get the word out on the amazing vegan cheeses so that someday we can find Kinda Co at Whole Foods and around the world. Yeah, let's make that happen. So I hope that you enjoyed my little taste test review of the um, Kinda Co vegan cheeses. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it because they were all delicious. And like I said, if you live in London, near London, honestly, really, you should try it. I will link Ellie and Kinda Co's socials and website and everything like that down below so that you can check out the website, order yourself some cheese maybe. I don't know when exactly the online shop is going to be up. It might already be up by the time I post this video. I don't know when that's gonna be. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a like or a comment below. Subscribe for more of this exciting vegan content. If there are other vegan foods or products that you would like to see me do a taste test video for or do a review of, leave a comment below or send me a message. And if it's something I can get my hands on, I would love to. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Cheese. Hi! Does it look like my face is growing out of this jar of cheese? <laughs> focus on the cheese. Don't focus on me. Come on. What if I go away? <laughs> this is such a failure. If you're not, if you eat, it. <laughs> There's the dog. <laughs> so I don't know. Are you a herb or an herb person? Get cheese in focus. Can we get the cheese in focus? No. Mm hmm. Why am I singing that? I don't know. Is it uncouth to eat cheese from the knife? I'm just blowing the cheese crumbs off of this cutting board.